We have found ourselves in the Napa Auto Parts studios. Uh, good to be here. And um, we have, uh, let's see, we're, oh, we're, oh, we're getting the signal that... Um, that uh, we are standing by for Al Jackson. Okay. He's there during the break. Uh, well, maybe we I'm can... here. Oh, you are here. I heard sense... him talking. There you go. I don't know why you can't sense my presence yet, Tom. It's been years, brother. Come on now. I, I, because, I... Al, that's not a thing. Okay? We're real human beings. We can't <laughs> sense each other. Okay? Actually, Al, you know, I knew something was That's up. the kind of mood we're in today, Al. Because <laughs> Dean held up his fingers. <laughs> Dean held up his fingers holding like a little teeny bit apart. I said, that certainly can't be Al. <laughs> oh. Al, uh, I have to let you know. Was he just letting you know Chick was in the studio? Oh, there you go. Uh, now, oh, the, oh. Stereotypes. <laughs> yeah. In all fairness, Al, we should let you know that uh, you you better be on today because I have been very funny. Oh, he, it is, Josh has been I'm on. Just killing it. Fire. So make yes, sure. Al, Al Josh uh, hurt his shoulder. Has some a hilarious stretches. As, shark material. As did I. <laughs> We've had an stairway, hour on watches. Oh, it's been great. Stairway yucks. Now, Al, been, now you're uh, a Miami guy. You spent five years as a teacher in Miami but before you started uh, doing stand-up comedy many years ago. We had a story out of Miami in which a, uh, a, a convicted prostitute, 29 years of age, young yes. lady, um, was uh, uh, had, had gone up to a... That's not young by prostitute years, by the way. Oh, That's <laughs> Moses Malone. <laughs> <laughs> huh. So oh. she was a senior on the prostitute tour. <laughs> and uh, she uh, went up to this guy's room. And uh, per her name, by the way, I just found, is uh, Della Horia Brookins. And uh, <laughs> she uh, apparently grabbed, uh, snatched, if you will, several watches. Four Rolex watches. Four Rolex Ooh. watches were retrieved from her VJJ, to use an Oprah term, uh, by the police. During she, a strip shirt search at the jail. And uh, that uh, led to a lot of uh, sad sad uh, stories about Rolexes. Yes, and, and a lot of watch cleaner. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's... That's a rough one. Uh, it, that there's a big thing when I moved down to Miami, uh, and I've heard this is still a problem. You know, tourists go down there, they get really drunk, and these air quotes girls from the club take them home. They think they're just regular girls, and they're like, "Hey, before we get into it, why don't you have a little bit of orange juice?" They put something in it. The guy is out, and they clean these guys out. Ooh. Like take their watches, take their anything expensive. Yeah, uh, and it's been a thing for a long time. So I'll just tell anybody down there in Miami, if there's a girl that's out of your league, they can't wait to get to your place. Be careful. Put yeah. your Rolex uh, in your secret stash place. I don't have a Rolex, but it says that these watches were worth one of them. There was four Rolexes and something. Is it a Hublot? Yeah, but he, I thought she didn't mm. steal the Hublot. That, apparently the Hublot was in the Crown Royal bag. The four Rolexes were in her um, mommy parts. Mm. This says a $22,000 oh. H-U-B-L-O-T Hublot yeah. watch. Why are you taking that on vacation? No, yeah, well, well that's, that's the, the guy's see, not filing this, charges. This guy's now not pressing yeah. charges, so I'm something suspicious uh -huh. going on. Yeah, here. who takes? I think it's because he's got drugs in his room. <laughs> There's, there's something illegal going on where yeah. you're not going to press charges. You're like, let's just get the cops out of here. Now I've we'll been handle looking, this with a little street justice. I've been looking <laughs> at um, used Rolexes, and now I'm afraid. Do they come with like a Carfax so you know where they've been before? <laughs> yeah, good question. Yeah, it's just, uh, wanna, you just get I, it out of the box, and it says, it, smell me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so, a little leery guess, now. My question is, so she arrives at the police station, so since this guy goes, hey, I'm missing these watches, that's why they decided to look there? They had probable cause. They, they, I mean, we were joking, but they can't listen for the ticking. No. Yeah, who knows? And I assume well, they have to have some kind of medical person come in and do the... They have a, probably have a medical, a metal body, detector that would go beep, body, beep, beep. Body cavity search. Hmm. Do you guys really think that they're bringing in a doctor at 4 o'clock in the morning, Sunday morning? There is a... They, they wake up some female guard who's sleeping in the break room and say, get the rubber gloves. Yeah. Yeah. They have to get, mm -hmm. they have to do that all the time. The, I, uh, I know for a fact, I have a friend that's a guard. It's, it's, wow. it's really the only way that you can get contraband into those places. So sure. they're well-versed. They're not getting up. <laughs> they're not getting Quincy. Okay. But aren't those, aren't there. those Rolexes, Al, don't they all have that pinchy metal band? My watch, I've got our leather band. I don't like those pinchy metal ones. Wouldn't that be pinching as you moved around? Pinchy. They yeah, don't I pinch. I think, I, I I think for twenty two thousand dollars, you'll take a little bit of pinch. That's a that's a lot of guys up in hotel rooms. That'll that'll take care of uh, yeah, Mrs. Dela Cruz for them. a while. Now here's my other question: Ooh, does, a Ro yeah. does a Rolex watch have a second a sweeping second hand? Yes. Because I I made the that's... joke. I, I wasn't doing the math right. I was thinking to myself, okay, if she had four Rolexes in there, 
at first I said, gee, that means that she had four hands in there. Then I realized that there's a big hand. That, then I said, okay, she had eight hands in there. Yeah, those are Madonna numbers. And then somebody, <laughs> yeah, then someone pointed out, thank you, that's a solid <laughs> joke. You're redeemed. <laughs> that was it, awesome. It, that means there's three hands per watch because they've got a second hand. So technically she had 12 hands up in there. So that, <laughs> up in there. Oh, my as, goodness. As you said, yeah. perhaps prematurely, that is Madonna numbers <laughs> in Miami. Those Tom, are. you have like... Tom has like freaky ass word problems that would be on Pornhub. Uh-huh. Uh, it's like they're almost like math problems. Like if <laughs> this prostitute has four Rolexes up with three <laughs> second hands going, and she's and on a train leaving she's Chicago like, yeah, sixty yeah. miles an hour. She's on a train heading for Miami. <laughs> that's um. Oh, uh, well, so that's Tom, a, that, that, I didn't know about this goes, kind of thing. Does that go that, that, that thing? kind of goes right into the quiz? Okay, go I ahead. mean, I don't. It, it's going to seem like we planned it because it's a this is a sexy time quiz, Tom. Ooh. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm ready. All right. And I'm really, honestly, Tom, this is for you, but I'm expecting big things from Joshy. This is kind of your your area of expertise. Sure. So, well, uh, let's get right into it. Guys, I was doing a little research uh, last night. <laughs> the most expensive blow-up sex doll is $10,000, but the most popular one is made by Silicon Wives, and it roughly costs about this much, Tom. What would you guess? Uh, not top of the line. We're not talking about a a Bentley blow-up dial, but still a very serviceable, poundable blow-up dial. Now, are, these, <laughs> right. are these the are these the robot the, the the robotic ones that have all of the motors and the stuff, or is this just the one that you? No, these are all inflatable. So you so you'd inflate them like you would it, a, a beach. It seems beach like toy. yeah. Yeah, they're not inflatable, though. It seems like they're built out of that same kind of material that they make CPR dummies out of. Oh, okay. okay, all right. Okay, so these are more the like cheap, a mannequin. These aren't the cheap blow-up ones yes. that look like they're surprised all the no. time. That are no, there's a, com- there's a comma in these. There's a comma in this number. Ah, okay. I, I have a guess. Go ahead, Christy. 5,000. I'm going to guess okay. 2,500. I'm going to guess 600. Okay. Oh, there's no comma in that, though. He said there is a comma in the He said there's a comma. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to dust Josh. Don't help him. (laughs) $1,000. I just just, just guessed (laughs) $1,000, too. Well, Chick, you guessed $1,001. I'm $1,001. Okay, what's the answer? The answer, again, this is why Josh uh, was two to one odds in Vegas. It's $2,400 for Dominique. Yeah, well, $2,500 with shipping. Yes, there we go. <laughs> uh, Twenty four hundred for Dominique. Yes, and uh, you can look this up on Silicon Wives. This is not an ad for them. And also, uh, you know, let's not forget uh, some people are getting some male uh, blow up dolls. Uh, Tom, how much do you think Hunter costs? <laughs> okay, so the the, oh the my Monique or whatever her name was was twenty four hundred. Dominique. Dominique, please Dominique, show, the, show the proper respect. I would assume <laughs> this guy would be um, that figure plus 100 because you need extra silicone hmm. for the accoutrement. Because I assume <laughs> That's you have good... some, some kind of accoutrement that would be attached to that, the uh, That's cleaner. true. Anybody else? I'm going to say a little lower because I don't think the market, market is as high. Yeah, so I'm going to say 1500 Oh, good one. I'll say 1000 Jakey? 1301 <laughs> <laughs> What's the answer? Uh, the, uh, the look, Tom, you're close. Uh, Twenty two hundred dollars. Oh, okay. For Hunter. Hmm. Yeah, just to cut, you know. The, but you're right. The market isn't there. Hunter, Hunter was on sale. Now yes. I have a question. Uh, do these come in? I have them up here if you'd like to see these oh, hang girls. On. Well, b- before I look. No, they don't. They're they're dolls. They're dolls. <laughs> they don't, they're no, but I mean, they're movable. Are they available in a variety <laughs> of in a variety of body types yes. and skin tones? Yes. Oh my goodness! Yes. yes, I mean everything. The top yeah. one, Dominique, is a as they call her a thick, big ass girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's subtle. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't, the second you know they most sat popular, there all night. <laughs> the second most popular is a redhead Tom named Auburn, which I'm sure you would not be interested in. I don't like. Well, first of all, Gabriella. I don't want to be a sex doll. Secondly, I don't want a redhead. Is the third most popular on this um, Silicon Wives website is a thick, curvy girl with the 
She's kind of like a, what, what would you call her? Like a Cardi B kind of girl? Yeah, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> shipping for her is a little more than yeah. the others. Yeah. The oh. Japanese sex doll is quite popular. The, the fact there's two that are number four and number five. So those are your top five So they, they have an Asian look, yes. if you will. Yes. Now, do they have a variety of skin tones? Yes. So you can get I'm the, sure yeah, you can they do. Like a cocoa. Shop right. by category. Now with Hunter, do you oh, only get look. the one dong or uh, can you change it out? I don't know. That's like a, an adventure? Uh, There's the... Oh, you're, you're, you're want suggesting want consistency. it's consistency. It's like a Swiss Army knife? Right, right. <laughs> like these, a cross trainer? Uh, these girls are depending really Depending on the kind of day you've had. Looking. These dolls look so real. They look so real. Um... I still don't get it. It's not for me, but man, they look real. I have a question. Al, do they have some kind of a thermostat so you can bring them up to, uh, <laughs> you know, do you, you don't really, you don't want them at room temperature. She's 68 degrees. I was kind sure. of looking for something about 98.6. Is there sort of an internal yeah. hot water bottle? I don't think so for this kind of money. I, yeah. Yeah. I don't think so, but what I would guess is that there was something you could do, like, you know, with the flashlight, you know, you can put that in the microwave, brother. Right. Uh, yeah, way. you can put that in. Some okay, hot I water. Just, I and just Googled you, okay. this thing. And <laughs> this, <laughs> where, this is so creepy. Where do you put them? I mean, oh, yeah. when, you're, when you're done. I don't know. You they're, put them standing. Well, you're probably not having a lot of company. Sale. Some yeah. of these are really on sale for you, a good you, price. You put them standing at the window looking out, waiting for you to come home. That's what you do. With a bucket up between their legs. Oh. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <God. laughs> Unnecessary. She's got she, the old joke. What? She's got a runny nose. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Time to change the oil. Time to empty. Take her, her to Jiffy Lube. Uh, I can tell you this right now: the male sex dolls. I just clicked on the page. None of these appeal to men or appeal to women. They all are very androgynous looking. Yeah, they are. They look like anime characters. They look. So yes. You're saying they're for gay men. Any beards? Probably. Any, Probably uh, for gay men. No facial hair. No, no facial fa hair. No on hair any at no. all anywhere. Huh? They're so it's so creepy. Can you imagine kissing one? No, no. isn't it oh, weird? Like to me, the more having sex with one is one thing, but actually kissing one is like weirder to me than actually having sex with one. No, no, they're they're both well, pretty weird. Well, they are weird. It's been. <laughs> Uh, but just kissing a lifeless so, dummy. So, so far, uh, Al, we've done I'm one question. <laughs> hey, Josh, just right so now. you know, we're not friends anymore. Why? Because okay, I'm bringing ahead. up the... <laughs> it's creepy. Wait a second. I just noticed this. <laughs> what? There's a separate category to shop just the torsos. <laughs> well, I would no, imagine you get, not. you get a yes. break. You get a break, probably. Yeah. Well, you only well, it's got to be half, half off. off. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, yeah, da, 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 it says, it says da, 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 da. click here, shop breasts, click here, shop torsos, click here, shop legs. Oh, so they're like Mr. Potato Heads. You can change out the parts? Shop legs? What? Yeah, maybe you can just, I just change think out you the just parts. Need the, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's can so you, but, creepy. Man, here's, so one, can, here's one that's just from above the belly button down to oh, the feet. God. Can you get just the, <laughs> the neck up? So you're just getting you're just getting the money maker there. That's <laughs> there you go. Who are you That's more exactly disturbed right, by? Chicky. Yeah. The guy who gets just the lower half, or the guy who just gets the head? Yeah, this is like oh, this is like the old question. the old mermaid argument. <laughs> yeah. Do they have the kung fu grip and everything? Or? Uh, wow. Uh, Seriously, look at this for seven ninety nine. It's I it's see it. Just the half. Literally, it's just above the belly button down. Go to the breast part and see if you get the whole Jesus. thing. Or do you just get... Okay, now, now I'm uh, appalled. <laughs> this oh, is... No, it's just the breast. Yeah, then you can get one. It's, that's, it's that's, really it. like the off-season for serial killers, like when you're just going <laughs> to practice what you're going to do. Man. This is... <laughs> right? This is so weird. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, and I'm seeing it. Hell. This I, makes me really sad yeah. that there are people that are that lonely. <laughs> and you guys and they have to judge. <laughs> I'm not you know judging. How, uh, I said I'm just sad. You know how long it'd take me to get a just a torso in, in the wild? Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. I can just go ahead and order this. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I mean, to, to get one that's living and breathing, you got to cauterize oh. the wound. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay. I think, I think we've crossed the line. Yeah, okay. I blame you, Al. You know I the, blame Al, oh. too. There's oh. some guy that gets one of these and he starts, thinking, down my eyes. starts oh. thinking the doll's cheating on him while he's 
at work. Oh. <laughs> I know what you've been doing. <laughs> and you know they're, they talk to them and they can hear them. There was a special. Them. You on, know that. Do you Chick, think- I'm surprised you didn't see this. There was a special on the BBC. It was Sunday or Monday night. And it was a guy who lives with three of these sex dolls. Oh, right. And it was his the way he lives his life. He's sitting at the on the they're couch so, holding hands, watching TV with so one of them. They're so chatty. And, yeah. I guess if it keeps him off the streets, that. maybe it's a who knows. That's a good thing. Um, yeah. Al, we gotta uh, we gotta wrap it up here. I, you supposed? To, I have a real quick question. Is there a business out there that's uh, someone that makes tattoos for these things that you could? Yes, a Sharpie. <laughs> you, could, you could rub on. <laughs> well, you can, yeah, you can get those tattoos yeah. out of the uh, the gumball machine. Because sure. yeah. uh, you, you know that's got to be uh, a specific thing where you can get some kind of a sure. tattoo you could put in wow. it would look professional. Uh, Al, do we have a word of the day? <laughs> we do. And this was honestly my favorite word that we did. And I just want to make sure that you know it. So we're going to go back. This is going to be a retro word. Okay. And it's not a word. It's just a phrase. Tom, what does skirt, skirt? Me. <laughs> oh, darn it. That's is... my favorite one of all time. It's skirt, not even skirt, close. Skirt, skirt. It was just from a few weeks ago, and I've already forgotten what it was. This is like a month ago. Um, and who's, does a man say it to another man or to a woman? It, it could be any gender. It's gender, gender fluid, gender uh, neutral. Okay. Um, skirt, skirt, skirt. skirt. Uh, I don't know. I forget. I should. I should. I gotta write. I wrote it down, but I've had to move all my papers because we're redoing the studio. Um. Any guesses really quickly? Do you is, remember? Is, is it the same as skeet skeet? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, I give up, Al. What is it again? It is to get yourself out of an awkward position. Like you just got out of an awkward situation. Oh, so you like you skated skirt. out of it, skirted out of All it. Right. Exactly. Oh, so, Tom, let me, let me hear a sentence real that, quick. That almost makes sense. Um, oh, let's see. Uh, awkward situation. I uh, went into the green room. And, and uh, Christy yep. was uh, showing her tattoo to one of the interns. So I, I had a to, tattoo. I had to, I know you don't. Mm. I had to skirt, skirt. Yeah. Oh. No, Tom, that's not how you say All it. All right, how no. about this, Al? Um, my, <laughs> uh, my, my new uh, torso arrived the other day. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you were unboxing it. And nice I was tie-in. unboxing it, and the uh, my neighbor knocked on my uh, clear uh, front door and skirt, skirt, I had to pretend like it was just a uh, mannequin for my clothing. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, so it's used like the a sound official word of the thing. Bob and Tom. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Al, I know you had a great weekend in Cincinnati. Congratulations. I did. Thank you, guys. I had a great time, and uh, I love being in the studio. I'll see you guys soon. Oh, All right. Love it. Al Jackson, comedian. He's on the Daily Blast every day. Coming right uh. back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> hey, remember comedy. the lady who had the watches hidden in her JJ? It wasn't a vibrator. They watches. were Rolexes. Watches. Yes. She, was a, she was a hooker. Yeah. Prosecutors have dropped felony charges against this woman who was arrested for allegedly stealing the watches from a Florida businessman. The Rolexes, worth in excess of $100,000, had been discovered in the suspect's vagina during a jail strip search. The case against the 29-year-old Delarue Brookins, a convicted prostitute, was closed last week. Prosecutors were forced to drop the case against Miss Brookins due to a lack of cooperation from Ramon Diaz, the 46-year-old victim. Huh. Remember, we had the story. The guy, mm-hmm. she was a prostitute, and as I recall the story... He took her to his room, and uh, she grabbed the watches. Wow! And ran. Yep. I guess it would be a snatch and grab. Sure. <laughs> Technically, I thought prostitutes when they they put watches up there, they were usually Timex because those can take a licking and keep on digging. <laughs> <laughs> these were these were Rolex. These were Rolex, <laughs> right? Uh, That's why I would have. Seen. But I have a I have a question. Why would a guy have four? Four on incredibly expensive watches out in his room. Out in his room, and in the, unless he was showing I keep my, off. I always keep my iPad and my carry on when I'm in the hotel. He's probably one of those. Out. That's ri- my iPad. Rich a holes. I've got uh, New York time here, and then uh, here's London time. And many, or, many, or many watches. <laughs> yeah, I. But the, or he, they were fake. But he's refusing to testify, so I'm wondering if or they were stolen, or, or, they were, or maybe he's a, he's a dealer of some. There's something. Yeah. Going yeah. On. But um, if I'm the judge, I've got to look. Uh, how many times yes. must we go over this? Possibly we should go to chambers. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she gives me a watch is what I'd be angry for. That's why I dismiss mm-hmm. the charges. Now, wouldn't I would be concerned about, wouldn't you get, there'd be pinching? 
with the uh, the oh the band. Don't the you, Rolex, don't, you don't like the metal band, do you? No, they they're pinch. All metal. Yeah, they, they pull your arm hair. Boy, oh boy. No. Don't, she's she's shoved four of them inside her body cavity. Yeah, you think there, there was a risk there of getting pinched? Maybe she's uh, thirty-six shaded. millimeter is the smallest were, male <laughs> watch for a Rolex. So that I'd they say probably the case, they were they? 40s. <laughs> forty. Forty millimeter watch is about yes. this big. This is not a Rolex, but this is she, about a she had four of them in 36 there. to a 40 okay. millimeter. Oh, no, that's not a cheap knockoff, clearly, but it's... Uh, no, it's, this isn't a Rolex. <laughs> it's a cheap, cheap watch. <laughs> it is cheap, but see, you can <laughs> fold that up. Enough. Look, Tom, you can fold that up. It goes with the okay, I would just be concerned about... I guess I'm sure it was done hastily in the elevator, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't swallow them. She. Well, that was her grunting, is she? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, okay. You didn't have to make some noise. So the, technically, the... <laughs> So the term isn't technically Christopher Walkening them. Walken. No, no, because they were in the front. It's Christopher were... Walken, not Christopher Walken. No, I said Christopher Walkening. In other words, she's. <laughs> what did uh, he do? I didn't see. The Walkening, my favorite Kate Chopin book. In um, in, in, in Pulp Fiction. I didn't see the movie, so I don't oh, know what he did. Oh, there's a famous scene in which uh, Christopher Walken in a <laughs> Vietnamese prison has to store a guy's watch. In his. In his key yeah, it's, ah. a, it's quite an irritating piece of metal. It's quite an elaborate scene, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. So this guy, it, let's just say he was trying to solicit this woman as as a uh, as a prostitute for, mm -hmm. for professional duties, right? So not only did he not get serviced, apparently, but uh, well, we he, don't know that. Maybe she waited till after. Oh, you think? I yet yeah, maybe he fell asleep. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. He fell I was she... wondering. I think maybe he got clock blocked. He okay. may. He very well may have. I mean, <laughs> that's barely a joke. That Kate Chopin barely a joke thing got, got nothing. Nothing. <laughs> this was a very popular prostitute, though. She oh, she got worked. Yeah, uh, yeah she got because uh, she also stole the grandfather clock. <laughs> that's sad. Uh, I don't Ooh, get that at all. Yeah, quite a large. Uh, yeah, it's a big, it's a big clock. <laughs> so you just envision when she, when the watches went in there, they were on a guy's arm. <laughs> hey, my watch! <laughs> Boy, that's a troubling. Time's time, up, huh? honey. Huh? Oh, that's a hell of a talent. Time's up's even a joke. <laughs> there are. There now, are would you those. put the would you put the watch on? <laughs> hey, what time is it? Oh, it's a quarter past douche. <laughs> Oh That's why you gosh. want to have a stopwatch. You have to, it has that string you can pull on to get it out. <laughs> Chick, we're killing it over here. <laughs>